So if you're wondering what it's like to live here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, then this video is going to be specifically for you. We've been here in Kuala Lumpur now for the last three, three weeks or so, and we've actually decided to extend our stay for the duration of our visa, which lasts for three months. Now, after loving it for the last three weeks, as I say, we've decided to get our own place here, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of, but stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to go through the costs of living in Kuala Lumpur in terms of the apartment you can get and some of the options that are available as well as the surrounding areas and what you can expect in an apartment like this in terms of the location that we're in so guys if you are new here don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because there's going to be many videos like this and around the world that you do not want to be missing out so let's get the video started guys this is Malaysia, one of the most diverse countries in the south of Asia with an impressive population of 33.9 million people. A country that is split between three different ethnicity groups which include Malay, Chinese and Indian. Famous for their multicultural foods to be in a modern metropolis of a city and as they say, Malaysia is truly Asia. So guys, it's time to show you a little tour of the apartment. First things first, always take off the shoes to make sure you don't get any dirt from the outside. So what I wanted to show you firstly guys is my favorite part of this apartment and it has to be my small private office that I've got here. It feels like they've actually made it very specific for this house because it's just a very random corridor but they've turned it into an amazing workspace where I've got this huge kind of desk here. I've got my laptop, everything set up, diary, and the storage space in this place is incredible. You've got literally every bit up here is storage space, which is just amazing. And then even down here, there's storage space. So really, really good. They've made a lot of good use out of such a small space. So yeah, I had to show you my favorite place firstly. Now let's move on to the huge open plan and living area. So as you walk in, you've got this gorgeous finished, grey finished table with these kind of uh, rustic looking lights, which I really love. One thing I would say, it would be nice if they had a little bit of paintings on this wall. It seems like they had it before we moved in. However, they don't anymore because there are some marks. And then as you get closer to the living space, you've got this um, reasonably sized sofa. It's not like the biggest or the best, but it kind of does the job. Um, and then you've got the cushions and the beautiful, beautiful view. This, I wanted to save till last, but I just can't. I have to show it to you guys. It's the best part of the apartment, especially at night. We're going to try to show you. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you the version night of that night, night, but this is it in the daytime. Look at this, guys. Half of the KL skyline is just right in front of us. And this place at nighttime turns into a completely different vibe. Moving on to the bedrooms in this place. So let me actually show you the master bedroom first. It's a two bedroom apartment. First things first, each bedroom has an ensuite. So we've got our own bathroom and toilet and the bed size is not too bad. It's relatively okay. And again, each room in this apartment has this beautiful view of the skyline. You just wake up and the first thing you see is this. It's time to also do the ultimate test for the bed and see how comfortable it actually is. I think out of five, I'm gonna give that a three out of five bounce test. It did all right, very, very comfortable. Hopefully it's still working for later tonight. But yeah, it's quite solid, quite strong. Second bedroom is almost identical to the first. You've also got the beautiful view of the skyline out there and a similar sized bed. And you've got an ensuite bathroom just here as well. And then you're gonna show us the kitchen. Hi guys, so yeah, I showed you your favorite spot, which was the office. Mine is just opposite, which is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually love the kitchen because it's not too big, but it's spacious enough for me to do everything that I need to do. So we have a oven top. The way they've set it up is a little bit weird because here you'd expect to have an oven, but it's actually a microwave. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's perfect because, you know, you've got a big top to work from, you've got um, mirrors, and then we've got a separately bought oven where you can actually cook your meals. Loads of storage space as well. Loads right? of storage space. Washing machine. And we were quite lucky that the landlady or previous tenants left all the things you'd be able to find in Airbnb. 
because this is meant to be a long-term rent, so you don't normally get these little nitties and gritties, but we were very lucky because we've got our plates, we've got our cups and glasses and, you know, things like that, all the pans and pots. And the washing machine. Yeah, here we've got a washing machine and a laundry basket and a large fridge, which is decent size. slightly empty at the moment, but we're going to sort that out in a minute. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is it guys. The location of this apartment is honestly incredible. It's probably from all the places I've ever lived around the world. I've never had an apartment that is so primarily located in terms of being close to shopping malls, gyms, I mean, you name it, it's got everything, everything, a 10 minute walk away. That's probably for me one of the biggest selling points, as well as actually saying the internet in the apartment is amazing. Everything is 100 mega speed upload and download. So guys, we're also gonna show you a little bit around this area, which the, the gym that it has. But one thing I have to say about the gym, it doesn't actually come with the building in terms of how much we pay. So we're actually paying for this apartment around $800. Uh, 850 euros. Yeah, about 850 euros. Unfortunately, within that price, the gym is not included. You actually have to pay for the gym separately downstairs because it's privately owned and it's about 35, about 40 euros per month. Now, one thing I wanna mention about this apartment specifically, it's actually privately owned. However, the building itself is actually called Vortex Suites and you can book it online on booking.com and the prices may vary. It's probably gonna be different to what we pay. However, probably with that price, you may also get the gym included. It all depends on how you, who you're actually renting it from because some of these apartments in this building are privately owned. This is the downstairs of the apartment and amazing that the weather is finally a sunny day today because since we've got here, it has rained a lot. But this is the building just up there and it's called Vortex for a reason because it spins all the way around. When you come downstairs as well, we've got this coffee shop which is literally just at the bottom of the building and they do the best, best coffee. And croissants, and my croissants, favorite. Exactly. So I think I'm probably gonna go for a cappuccino and also where this coffee is actually located. It's actually located in a place called the Belt Bed KLCC. And this place here does like kind of small single pod kind of rooms, almost like a hostel type of thing. But I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of these type of videos here in Malaysia because I'm going to make a specific video about budget living in uh, KL. So I think you're going to probably want to check that out when it releases soon. So we basically just ordered some almond croissant and a cappuccino. That came to roughly about 26 ringgit, which is just under 5 US dollars. Um, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> One thing I have to say since coming to Malaysia is getting good coffee here is very, very easy because nearly every place that I've gone to does very, very good coffee here. And this place specifically is called the Bean KLCC. Very, very famous for their coffees. It just gets better every time. The benefit of being in a place like this, you know, literally being located in KLCC, is the fact that you're literally 10, 15 minute max walk away from anywhere. So, just to give you guys an example, if we're to put in the Petronas Towers now, which you know everybody knows what it is, the Twin Towers here. So approximately 550 meters, which is about a 12 minute walk according to Google Maps. However, you can probably get there in literally less than eight minutes. It's not that far. And next to Petronas Towers is one of the famous malls here, which is Surya KLCC. And if you watch one of our other vlogs, you would see where kind of I did my first impressions whilst walking through there. And also they've got the fountains that you'd want to go and check out in the evening because they've got the dancing show of the fountains, which is quite nice. And you've also got some bars and restaurants surrounding the whole KLCC area because it is also a business district. And as you can hear, it does get quite busy in some parts of the day, but majority of the day is fine. Um, and it doesn't kind of affect you in your house either, especially if you're kind of on a high rise building, you don't really hear the traffic too much. And if you are wondering how you can get around also, if you wanted to get a cab or a train, or even I believe they've got an underground here in Malaysia, right next to where we're based here in KLCC, the Vortex Suites, as you can see up there, there's kind of like, a, I think it's a monorail. And essentially that's just basically an overground train that goes through all the city. And the closest overground train to this place that we're staying, I'll just leave it here so you can also see what that is. And this is how convenient it is to actually be in this building. We've got our own 7-Eleven just up there, which has your basic needs like water and quick bits of groceries, nothing too extensive, but it's perfect just to have that option here downstairs. 
back in the building now, but one thing I want to mention, if you're lucky enough here in KL, your building might have its own convenience store inside. This is actually on the sixth floor and it's basically got some of your basic needs. Oh, they're closed. <laughs> it's bad timing, but I'll show you guys a little peek through. They've just got your basic needs, such as drinks, water and toilet paper and just your basics. And also laundry service. Yep. This is my second probably best bit of the whole building is the fact that as you come downstairs you've got this huge pool just here which is so so nice to relax on and right next to the pool you've also got a gym which is not the huge the biggest gym but it has kind of all the needs in terms of just for like a few weights and a couple of machines this is the gym area and this is where i spend most of my mornings when i wake up so we've got kind of the uh, weights here and we've got like a rack and one bench and a few running machines over there. So it's got all your basic needs and all some things that you need. You wanna do some sit-ups? <laughs> got kind of like these machines, the squats machines and also a few kind of running machines as well. And kind of your basic machines here as well, which are quite decent. We're back into the apartment now and just before I let you go there's some really useful information and tips that I want to share with you guys. So if you're actually traveling to Malaysia or Kuala Lumpur for the first time or even if you've been here before and you're wondering what new things there are to do and places to see, in my description below I've listed out about 10 to 15 awesome things for you guys to do as a family or friends or even solo. You can check them out in my bio below because one thing I do know when you're a traveler is it's always nice to have somebody to do the work for you and I've done that for you guys so you can just click on any of those excursions and check them out for yourself. And guys, if you do have any questions about um, our experience so far, what it's been like here in Malaysia or anything that you think you wanna ask us, feel free just to drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. And thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure if you did enjoy this video to subscribe because I know a lot of people usually forget to press that button just there and it really does help my videos. So I'll see you all on the next video here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. If not in Malaysia, I'll see you on the next country. Peace out and good night.